Happening today, we have President Biden now participating in his first NATO summit in Belgium after meeting with G7 allies in England. D.C. correspondent Jesse Turner is live with a preview. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Daria and James. Those meetings are officially underway, and President Biden is hoping to cover a lot of ground today. Everything from climate change to the Afghanistan troop withdrawal to the Iran nuclear deal. But he and other world leaders are also wanting to focus on a more targeted approach. America is back at the table. That's the message President Joe Biden will take from the G7 to NATO after former President Donald Trump dismissed the 30 country alliance as obsolete. NATO is vital to our ability to maintain American security uh, um, for the next, uh, uh, next uh, the remainder of the century. At today's summit, President Biden plans to ask European allies for more help against economic and national security threats from China and Russia. He will also underscore the U.S. commitment to Article 5 of the Alliance Charter, which says an attack on one member is an attack on all, and the response should be collective. We believe NATO and Section 5 is a sacred obligation. The members are expected to sign an update to Article 5 to include major cyber attacks, following a series of Russia-based hacks targeting the U.S. government and businesses around the globe. Many of these attacks come from criminal organizations, not necessarily from states, but countries have an obligation. No responsible country should be in the business of harboring criminal groups uh, engaged in these attacks. On Sunday, CBS Face the Nation, Secretary of State Antony Blinken said the president will insist on aggressive efforts to make sure the U.S. has the proper infrastructure in place to disrupt these attacks. That requires a lot of coordination uh, with other countries. That's exactly what we've been engaged in. And President Biden also continues to prepare for his major one-on-one -on -one meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday, where he does plan to bring up those cyber attacks. And this is the first in-person meeting that the two leaders have had in 10 years, when Biden was vice president and Putin was prime minister. Live in Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. Interesting. Thanks. Thank you, Jesse. It's 521. And coming up, a local dog owner 